perhaps DNA science can settle once and for all the biological question of who, for example, the Hopewell mound builders were. We can use DNA to help us reconstruct the past and the history of different populations because your DNA is passed down from your parents from generation to generation. There are certain types of DNA in particular that are very useful for reconstructing population prehistory. Your mitochondrial DNA is DNA that every person has and you inherit it from your mother. Um, your mother passes it on to her children, men don't pass it on to their children. And this type of DNA therefore gives us a measure of matrilineal relatedness. I collected DNA from, and analyzed DNA from a couple of different Hopewell cemetery populations. When we looked at DNA from these two different Hopewell populations, from Illinois and Ohio, we found that there were five primary mitochondrial DNA lineages present. Um, these lineages have become um, designated by letter names in the scientific um, world. And the ones that we see in Native American populations um, both living today and in these Hopal cemeteries were the mitochondrial lineages A, B, C, D, and X. And these five lineages are ones that are common today in Native Americans, and they were the ones that were present in these ancient Hopewell communities. When we look at the distribution of haplogroup X in the Americas, we see that it's present in about 3% of all Native Americans, but it's more common in some populations, in particular, peoples who live in the upper Great Plains exhibit much higher frequencies of haplogroup X, sometimes up to 25 or 30 or even 50% in some samples that have been studied. And this research, the genetic research that we've done, really conclusively proves that the same mitochondrial lineages are present in ancient Hopewell burial populations as we see in contemporary Native American populations. And that very clearly establishes the relationship between these contemporary Native American populations and the ancient Hopewell. DNA science apparently settles the biological questions of who these ancient advanced Hopewell mound builders were. But where else is this DNA found? And where did it originate? The form of haplogroup X that's present in the Americas is known as haplogroup X2A. And this specific type is defined by a number of additional mutations that Native Americans who belong to haplogroup X share. Um, this particular form of haplogroup X is not found in Europe. In fact, it's not found, as far as we know at this point in time, anywhere in Europe or Asia. Um, but in particular, there is no con there's no recent connection to Europe and to European individuals who possess haplogroup X. Um, the only similarities that we see are similarities that stem from much more distant, much more ancient ancestry um, that probably dates back 30,000, 40,000 years, perhaps somewhere in the Near East. And so what most likely happened is that this very ancient common ancestor of individuals who belonged to haplogroup X had descendants who split and went two different directions. Probably some of these individuals moved to Europe, others moved towards Asia and up towards Beringia. And it appears that this Asian form of haplogroup X is what eventually made its way into the Americas. There have been some recent studies that have suggested that this particular distribution of haplogroup X in the Americas is most consistent with a migration from Asia through the Bering Strait over the land bridge and then down through the ice-free corridor. And so if individuals with haplogroup X migrated through that ice-free corridor, they would have first entered the continental United States and continental North America in the upper Great Plains. And it would make sense then that we would see the highest frequency of haplogroup X today in populations in that region. Most mainstream archaeologists and historians would probably agree that this assessment is something of a contemporary final word on Native American origins. So does DNA science put much of diffusionist theory to rest? Diffusionists would answer no. The reason? There is a lot about DNA evidence that is a controversy.